guys what is up it's jenny here back again with another video and in today's video i'm going to be testing out all new and viral um makeup products so all of these are very new to me this is a new brand to me as well but i have been seeing um the brand's tiktok and all that and i really really just love his makeup um so if you don't know who i'm talking about already it is the made by mitchell um made by mitchell makeup brand um not all of these products is going to be made by mitchell but most of them are and the ones that are not are just products that i've been seeing and i really wanted to try so yeah let's get into it so first i am going to be priming my face with the elf poreless putty primer and i'm not too sure if i'm supposed to go in with a brush for this or not but i'm just gonna take it on my finger and put it on the spots where i am most oily at and that is because i do not want this makeup to move like i want my nose area to be flawless to not show after this i am going in with the elf power grip primer this is also very new to me but i've been hearing lots of great things and i've even seen on tiktok people sticking things to their face with this primer so hopefully i get that same kind of effect it already feels very i don't know if you guys can see it very sticky but yeah now that my face is primed i don't know if i put too little or if the putty mixing with this made it a little weird but it is gripping i can say that but i don't know how i feel about it just yet because i am done with that i'm going in with the elf satin finish flawless foundation in the shade buff 250 and i think i'm gonna go in the back of my hand with this first and if any of these shades are too light on me <laughs> In my offense, I did shop for all of these online, so I will take that into consideration, but yeah. And now I'm gonna go in with one of my old brushes. This is the Beauty Inspo makeup brush, and I'm just gonna go in with this and buff this out. I do like the finish of this it does look very satin it does look kind of matte which I like because I don't like my face to look dewy so that is perfect but now that we've done that I'm actually gonna try this this is the Maybelline Super Lock Eyebrow Gel, and I should have done this beforehand, but I didn't think of doing it beforehand. So I'm just going to try it now. I kind of want to lift my brows up a bit. Just because I don't have that much brow right now, especially that I kind of like shave them off. So I'm going to lift my brow with this. And I'm sorry if you guys could hear the rain is pouring outside. Case, And I'm going in with the shade Strawberry Cream, which is this color right here. And I'm putting it in the back of my hand first. So I just put a little bit right there on the back of my hand and I'm just going to go on with my finger to be honest because 
by Mitchell did say that you have to warm these up before like applying them in a way so I warmed it up in the back of my hand with my finger and I'm just gonna go in right here As you guys can see right there I'm going in with this color Now that I've went in with that color, I'm also going in with the Made by Mitchell Liquid Blusher and I'm going in with the shade Peach Sugar, which is this one. And that is the shade, if you guys can see, Peach Sugar. And I'm going in towards the back end because I want to create like a little ombre effect. So I'm just going in with a little bit of the list right in the back and I think I'm gonna blend this out with the beauty blender also made by Mitchell beauty blender and I'm just gonna go in with the back of this and dab out And now that I blended it with my finger a bit, and now I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender. So once again, I'm going in with my regular concealer because I didn't buy a concealer for this. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain. And I'm gonna go with this under my eyes. My eyes. I'm gonna try this new method that I saw on Jordan Lip Combi's makeup routine and she just does a dot here and then she does here she does here here And she brings it this way, so here. Hopefully this works out for me because this is a lot of concealer, especially for me. I don't use this much concealer on the regular, but so why not try new things? Okay, and she says she blends from the bottom up, so I'm going to do it the same. this sponge is like this sponge really just is so big and so i don't know how to explain it it's just so cute like i'm in love so i actually want to try the kimchi under my eyes first because i heard that it blurs like crazy like it's literally known for blurring your your face so that is what i'm gonna do first if i can find the sticker peel and the powder shape is literally a little hard i don't know if you guys can see that that is so cute okay so i'm gonna tap a bit of this onto there and i don't know if i should take a brush or not i keep saying this but i don't know if I should take a brush or use the powder puff. I'm going to use the powder puff for one eye and then use the brush for the other eye to see what it does. But I'm taking quite a bit of this. I'm patting it on the back of my hand because I heard that it's better if you do it like that. And then... So from what I'm seeing so far, it does blur quite a bit. I just don't know how I like this powder puff. I would prefer a triangle one, but right now I don't have one of those. I have to buy one. So I think I'm going to go in with the MF2 and 
use this instead. Hopefully this is better. But I'm not gonna set the blush and I'm not gonna set the, how do you say it? The contour. I'm just setting anywhere I put concealer and things like that. And now that I see it with the brush, I prefer, I prefer the puff actually. And I'm gonna go in with the brush again and just put some in the inner corners mostly because I really want that bright. Okay, so now that I'm finished with that, I'm gonna let this sit for just a little bit, not too long. Cause I wanna see how it does. Now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. I'm gonna go in with this in a big brush that it can bring a little bit of color back into my face. Cause I did just finished like going stupid with that powder so I don't want to look like a ghost once again I did see this on I did see this by Jordan lip combi she does this as well and that's just to bring back color so I won't look like a ghost, kind of. And I see where she's coming from. I see it. I see the vision. And with the bake under my eyes, I'm just going to wipe it off, to be honest. Wow. I've never seen my face like this before and it does not look bad like it looks so good um but next I'm going in with the bronze pod and I'm going in with all the in all the areas that I basically put the color case on to contour and I'm going in with the mf4 brush and look how pretty this look I just love his packaging like so it's just lay. So I'm going in with this and I'm gonna tap off some excess because as I saw already, they, we, his products have a lot of pigment. And what did I say? Lots of freaking pigment. What the so you don't need a lot of this to be honest because like what? I'm still confused. This is just off of one dip in his, one dip in the pan, like. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow or actually I'm just gonna go in with that same bronze. I'm actually just gonna go in with the same bronze, um, bronze pod and the M. E1. So I just noticed that the brushes are marked by face and eyes. So this is the ME one. And I've been saying ME, but it's I mean MF, but it's not MF, it's M E. And I'm done with that. I'm going to go in with the night owl gel shadow whoa so this is what the gel shadow looks like that looks freaking crazy and i'm just gonna go in with my finger and i'm just gonna dab just a little bit whoa Oh my god. 
Is this a glitter? I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to pick up my camera so I can show you guys. But let me put it on the other eye first. Literally looks like wet almost. Can I put this on my cheeks? Yep. You can put it on your cheeks. Yep. I don't know if you guys can see it on the cheeks, but you see that glow? Okay, so now that everything is pretty much done, um, it's time for lips. Okay, so for lips, I'm going in with the color case. And I'm going in with this brown up top right here and that is in the shade richer yeah because i want to feel rich just for one little tiny bit and a lot of people like to do their cupids one things like that i like to round out my cupids bow because i want to give myself more of a brat's look i'm not gonna lie I do that way too often. And now that I've blended that out, I'm gonna go in with Bear With Me Matte Lipstick. It is this very pretty, pretty nude. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I'm gonna go in with that right in the middle. Ooh. A lip, this face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you can get a closer look with the light. Guys, I promise you, in person, these is they're not as harsh as they look. Like this is low light. You guys can see my makeup is not as harsh as it looks. With the light, you can see it here right now. This is the true color of it. It's not the, that harsh like how in front of my mirror looks. Do you guys see this? My face is blurred. My lips? Best lip combo ever. I'm in love. I'm in love with all these products. I'm in love. Hold on. Let me do my mascara and we'll get into this. So this is the final makeup look. Guys, do you see? I'm obsessed. And to top it off, I used an eyelash color. I've never used an eyelash color before. Why is my eyelash just like this? I'm obsessed guys i'm obsessed so if you've been wondering whether to get these products whether it be the made the made by mitchell Bra <laughs> made by mitchell brushes they were super soft by the way super soft super easy to work with so if you guys are debating on whether you should get any of these products i would say go for it i literally got my brushes the 16 piece set for uh, how much did i get 32 dollars i believe it was okay i don't think any lighting is gonna do this makeup justice this makeup you have to see it in person um but yeah um i I'm literally staring at myself right now. Um, I bought the brush set for $32. It came with 16 brushes, which was literally amazing. Like, 16 brushes. My, and on top of that, the, the color case, this case right here, comes with its own brush, which has a spatula at the end. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has a spatula at the end so that you can dig out the product and you do not need that much product like literally look how 
much I digged into that just a little tiny bit and the products went a long way so if you're debating on getting any of the made by Mitchell's um any of the made by Mitchell makeup I say go for it there really is a lot of product in here for the money that you're paying and the quality that it is this sponge was amazing so soft it grew like twice its size it was way smaller than this when it is dry so i would say definitely a plus um the powder the kimchi powder was great as well i've never had my face look this smooth and i believe it was because of the combo of the kimchi as well as the elf camo foundation powder these two together has made my face not only matte but flawless like literally flawless i don't know how else to explain it this foundation is great i love that it's not like orangey when it oxidizes or anything like that foundation is great my face is matte my face honestly does not feel uncomfortable does not feel like it has so much product on it and yeah this grip primer probably gonna say yeah because i don't think my face is gonna go anywhere and on top of that i do not use setting spray at the moment because i haven't bought one but when i do i'm gonna get the one size setting spray so i believe that's also going to help with the face not moving anywhere now this night owl liquid eye liquid jelly whatever it is eyeshadow the shine you see it you see it yes um this i would say this for me at least would be great if i'm not going to be using any product on my brow because i do like to have my brow look natural also i may have to try not have to try not using the color case on my eyebrow just because i do sometimes go a little bit heavy-handed and that is probably why my eyebrows came out so dark or not dark but came out so blocky because i do go a little bit tiny bit heavy-handed sometimes so yeah and that was totally my fault not the product's fault but this i would say i do like it my eyebrows do feel like they're not moving anywhere um as for if it's peeling or anything like that it is not peeling it has not left a white cast or anything on my eyebrow so that's a plus but in all all these products were so good and this is my first time trying any of these products and they're so good so if you decide hey let me get any of these products i will link the products down below so you guys can find it easier and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below any other makeup products or makeup tips that you have down below and make sure to subscribe also thank you for 200 subscribers we just hit 200 subscribers i just saw that before i filmed this video so thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you guys in the next one